class. We've come to the end of the school year. I'm Kirk Harnack. I've been your professor through the last 13 chapters, and we have one more chapter to go, and then it will be the final exam. What's the final exam? Well, if you get on the Internet and you're streaming audio and it sounds great and your metadata works properly and it's reliable, then you're probably using a Zipstream product and you pass. That's your final exam test. Let's look at Chapter 14 here. It's the Zipstream family. Let's take a quick look at the different products in the Zipstream family so you're fully familiar and aware of them. This is the Zipstream AXE. Now, this is software that runs as a service in Windows. And by the way, it'll run in almost any flavor of Windows, from Windows XP all the way up to Windows 10. Uh, you can feed audio to it via LiveWire. Or you can feed audio to it via whatever sound card uh, you have in the in the PC. Uh, it just uses the Windows operating system to grab the audio. So anything that Windows agrees with, the Zipstream AXE will also grab that audio and encode it for you. You can license this, or it is licensed, per input to the Zipstream AXE. That means you can buy one or you can buy ten, you know, whatever the capabilities of the uh, your sound cards are or your live wire. Um, and with each license you buy, with each input, you can encode it in different algorithms and at different bit rates. And it comes with MP3 and the whole AAC family. Uh, that's all included, so you can encode in different ways if you need to. And each encoding instance also includes three-band audio processing from Omnia. So this is a great place to start. A lot of stations, hundreds, if not close to a 1,000, are using the Zipstream AXE and loving it because it just works well. Of course, it has the metadata processing. Uh, the audio presets are in there, the audio processing presets. And the scheduler is built in as well. Omnia AXE. Now let's look at hardware. If, you know, running a computer is less interesting to you and just installing a piece of hardware is more interesting to you, then the Zipstream R1 is a great choice. It has one stereo input, either analog or AES or live wire. So you can bring audio in any of those three ways. And then you process it with one built-in three-band processor. From there, you get two encoders. So you can encode in MP3 or AAC or both. So you could encode in, say, two different MP3 bit rates or two different AAC bit rates or one MP3 and one AAC, whichever is going to suit your needs best. Then you can output those streams to a variety of different CDNs. It has the stream protocol packetizer that makes it right for um, Shoutcast, Icecast, uh, Wowza. Those are all built in. And all the other features we talked about earlier, like the metadata uh, parsing from the Lua engine, that's built in. And the scheduling, that's built in as well. So that's the R1, a very reliable rack mount streaming processor and encoder. This is the Zipstream X2 software. Now, this gives you everything you've seen before, but it adds a couple of things. One thing it adds is the adaptive multi-rate streaming. So Apple HLS and Microsoft Smooth Streaming, those are both built in. In fact, the bottom instance on this graphic you see right here that's doing Omnia 9 processing. Oh, yeah, that's another option. You can add Omnia 9 processing to any of the, uh, of the streaming encoders that you're doing. And then uh, you can also do it uh, adaptive multi-rate. So that bottom instance there is Omnia 9 processing with Apple HLS streaming going out at three different bit rates all at the same time. Of course, it does the other uh, encoders, the MP3 and uh, the AAC family as well. It does metadata, has the scheduler built in, and different presets for your processing. So all that's in there. Uh, it's great software. Runs as a service in any flavor of Windows that's semi-modern and uh, just makes a great streamer. You can really supercharge your streaming with this and get a bunch of streams out there in different formats uh, as you need. Finally, this is the Zipstream R2. Now, this piece of hardware actually can replace an entire rack of streaming encoders uh, that have been popular up to this point. Uh, and what I'm talking about is the Zipstream R2, in addition to all the other stuff we've, we've talked about and all the features that are in there, uh, it does, you know, Apple HLS and Microsoft Smooth Streaming. It's got an advanced uh, parser from the Lua engine. Uh, it, it does MP3 and... AAC, different flavors. It does smooth streaming, and it does uh, Apple HLS. It just, it, it's all built in. Omnia 3 processing is built in. 
Omnia 9 processing is optional, but one more thing that the Zipstream R2 does, if you are using Triton as your CDN, well, you know they have some protocols that you have to meet, and um, the Zipstream R2 does that. Triton compatibility is entirely built in, so you need to meet their uh, requirements for audio consistency, you need to meet their requirements for the metadata that is sent to them, and their requirements for giving contact closures, giving signals when it's time to insert a, a, a national ad. Um, then all that's built in to the Zipstream R2. Plus there's GPIO hardware on the back panel. So if you need to make a change, need to program uh, a stream to go on or off or change a preset by GPIO, that's an additional feature in addition to what the others have. So this one rack unit box uh, can take up to eight stereo program inputs and it can put out dozens and dozens of different encoded streams uh, based on those eight inputs. The Zipstream R2, it is a really amazing product. Here's the whole family line, so you can see it all at once. The Zipstream AXE, the Zipstream X2, that's the two pieces of software, two software programs licensed per input. The Zipstream R1, which has one input and can put out two different types of streams, and then the Zipstream R2, which can be licensed up to eight inputs. You can license Omnia 9 audio processing, and you can literally put out dozens and dozens of streams, even with Triton compatibility and all that adaptive multi-rate uh, with the Zipstream R2, and do it all in one rack unit. That's the whole family. I hope you've enjoyed Streaming University. I'm Kirk Harnack, your professor, and I'm glad that you've been able to spend this time with us. Go back and review any chapter that you need to. And, of course, additional questions can be answered by either your dealer, by a representative of the Telos Alliance, or check out the website at telosalliance.com. There we have videos and white papers, and uh, plus a brochure and specification information about each of these products.